Hello, I'm Jim Franks, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast that will explore insights and lessons from the Bible. Today, I'll continue from my last podcast where I address the question, which is the great commandment? The topic today will be, which is the second great commandment? The scripture reading for this question is found in Matthew 22, verses 39 through 40. Let's begin by reading the scripture, then we will back up and remind you of the background, which will be a repeat from my previous podcast on which is the great commandment. But this time we'll find out what is the second great commandment. It's Matthew 22, verses 39 through 40. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now, the key to understanding this section of Scripture, as was mentioned last time, is identifying the Pharisees and the Sadducees and where they differed in their teaching. First, we need to answer that question again. Who were these individuals? And again, I'll give you the short answer that I gave on the previous podcast. But I also would encourage you to do your own study as to who these two groups were and what they stood for. The short and simple answer is that the Pharisees and Sadducees were two parties among the Jewish religious establishment of the first century. Neither group existed when the Old Testament concluded. It was during this intertestamental period that the synagogue system, along with the Sanhedrin and the various religious parties, developed. The Pharisees were by far the largest group, and they basically controlled the synagogues. The Sadducees were much smaller and were considered the priestly group, since many of the priests belonged to this group, which gave them control of the temple worship. One of the premier beliefs of the Sadducees was that there would be no resurrection. This is found in Matthew 22, verse 23. Let's read this verse again. The same day the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him. So they asked him a what-if question about the resurrection, which they did not even believe in, to try and trick him. Christ shut them down with his answer. So now along came the Pharisees, who were the dominant party among the Jewish religion, and their beliefs were in strict observance of the law of Moses. So how would Christ respond to them after he had silenced the Pharisees with his previous answer? Keep in mind that their purpose is to trick Christ, since he was becoming too popular and attracting large crowds. Now let's continue with our reading to see what the question would be uh, that the Pharisees hoped would embarrass Christ and shut him down. This is found in Matthew 22, verses 35 through 36. Then one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him and saying, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? This is the question that Christ was answering. You can only imagine the tension and what was riding on Christ's answer. He knew that whatever he said, it would be twisted to discredit him. But his answer was so perfect and in line with what the Pharisees taught that it shut them up. In the case of the Sadducees, Christ shut them down by addressing their teaching that there is no resurrection. He showed that if that was so, then what will happen to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? The Sadducees could not answer him, and they became quiet. Now, it's the Pharisees' turn to try and make Christ look bad. Their major belief was in the law of God, and they interpreted it very strictly, especially the command to keep the Sabbath by creating their own extra-biblical laws. It seems obvious, based on the Pharisees' support for the law, that if Christ was actually doing away with the commandments, there would have been an uproar and the Pharisees would have gotten what they wanted, have Christ on record changing or denouncing the law. Clearly, they did not interpret this to be what Christ was saying. So what was he saying? To love, worship, and honor God is the highest of all commandments. But Christ now turns from the great commandment to the second great commandment. Today, we might say he was doubling down on his support for the law of God by giving a summary of the final six of the Ten Commandments, which are found in Exodus 20 and Deuteronomy 5. Here, Christ elevates our relationship with our fellow man. Notice what he actually said. Let's read again, Matthew 22, 39 through 40. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Seems that Christ wasn't doing away with anything, but giving a summary of what was already found in the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments define for us our relationship with God, to love and worship Him with our whole heart, soul, and mind. The first four deal with loving, respecting, and worshiping God as the highest of human priorities. And the next six remind us that you are to love your neighbor as yourself. Between these two commandments, love God and love your fellow man, we have the full summary of God's law. Notice the final six and what they tell us. 
Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness, and you shall not covet. The concept of loving your neighbor as yourself actually did not originate in the New Testament. Here's a quote found in Leviticus 19, verses 17 through 18. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall surely rebuke your neighbor and not bear sin because of him. You shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the children of your people. But you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. So Christ summarizes his statement on which is the great commandment by stating in Matthew 22, verse 40, On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. This was consistent with the teaching of the Pharisees. So when Christ finished by stating that everything revolved around these two commandments, which are a summary of the ten as listed in the Old Testament, the Pharisees had nothing to say. They were shut down just as the Sadducees were. So what do we conclude? That Christ supported the Ten Commandments, the law from the Old Testament. He summarized the Ten in two commandments, love and worship God and love your neighbor as yourself. This did not do away with the law. No, not at all. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.